Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team, uh, making the watch list video for Tuesday, uh, September 12th. I uh, pretty much put the watch list already together and I'm just cutting the video now. Uh, just taking a look over here at the SPX for today or the S&P and you'll see it's closing right near yearly highs. Uh, this is a potential inverse head and shoulders. You'll see a potential left shoulder, right, or left shoulder, head area followed by kind of like a right shoulder and you'll see that 2490 being like kind of the neckline so you'll see if it breaks out above 2490 it might be new high so uh tomorrow yeah potentially it could be a breakout day if it breaks that 2490 87 area that'd be very bullish and you can see this really bull flag right here on the five minute this uh it's very bullish so uh that's an inverse head and shoulder basically a left shoulder a head right shoulder look for a breakout above 2490 i would be very careful around 2500 area that would be a very very uh big whole number so we'll see what happens there if if tomorrow breaks or whenever it does uh that's what to look for so um again we'll go to the pl uh the scans uh between 30 cents and 15 dollars uh, minimum 500,000 um volume with a five percent gain on the day and uh, make sure you're paying attention to the alerts i've been sending out every day with the watch list uh, you'll see which ones have been triggered over here uh, and shoot i forgot to cancel these ones here um, darn it i meant to uh, these are the ones that i have active as of right now uh, these are the ones from today's watch list i might have to clean it up a little bit um, but, uh, cause I already did the watch list here from today. So I'm going to have to scroll through some of these and see which ones, uh, have not been set up. But anyways, make sure you take a look at these ones when I send out the active ones and look at the areas where they're at or above or at or below. So you'll see if I'm looking for a stock to break out or to break down. Uh, but these are basically, again, not buy alerts, but you want to see potential breakout areas on each of the stocks. So basically take the watch list that I send every day with the alerts and set them up and look for the breakout areas. And then obviously watch the videos that I do here and basically show you the areas of support and resistance to look at. Uh, and uh, that's really what you have to do is just practice doing it that way. Look out for breakouts, breakdowns, uh, previous areas of support and resistance. And uh, that's really kind of what you're looking for. And obviously take the... Uh, Trade Ideas pre-market watch list that I send out every day and uh, coincide this watch list with, with that one and see if there's any better plays in the morning. Um, but uh, many of these uh, stocks that I'm putting on the watch list at night with the alerts, those alerts are triggering. So it's very important uh, to watch these ones because many of them are popping throughout the day and uh, you can be catching uh, some very good gains off of these alerts. So... Uh, we'll start off with ATOS. ATOS, this is kind of like a, it's hard to see it, but it's kind of an inverse head and shoulders. You can see this area right here might be kind of a left shoulder followed by this 32 cent area right around there being a head followed by a right shoulder with a break right here. If this 65 area breaks, um, this could be a gap up right up to that 93 sent to a dollar six area whenever that breaks it's going to want to potentially fill that gap so uh be careful right around this 200 simple moving average right around 93 cents but if this breaks this could be a nice breakout from 65 area up to 93 and then be careful if it goes and fills the gap um but uh i put atos on the watch list for that reason amcn another one i don't know what you want to call this but uh crazy looking pattern here but you want to see it break high of day here 287 and then you're going to want to see it go up and then uh obviously ideally break three dollars and if it breaks three dollars this 301 to the 305 area might be a gap that it goes and fills so see if it breaks 287 and then goes up and fills the gap and then obviously if it breaks the 330 from there uh so amcn is on the watch list FRTA. Uh, this is another one here. This is kind of like a wedge pattern that was formed right down here, a wedge. Then now it's kind of bull flagging. You want to see it break this uh, 
what is this, this three, ideally break that 463 area, but see if it breaks today's high of day at 429. If it breaks 429, see if it can go up to that 460, and then if it goes up to 460, see if it can break above that. Uh, so FRTA uh, is on the watch list, ARWR. Uh, this is one that's already still up in the gap. You want to see if it's going to go up at some point and fill this gap. It keeps bull flagging and heading up there, so who knows? It might take some time, <coughs> but uh, ARWR is definitely one to keep an eye on. Uh, basically, you, you want to see it, number one, if it's going to break that 355 area. Um, so I've kind of, I'll put an alert right there, 354. And then basically go and see if it breaks 354, and then obviously 355. You want to see it definitely hold the 350s, um, and then uh, see if it's going to ride up at some point, either tomorrow or oh, it seems like it's slowly going up into the gap, so uh, definitely keep an eye on that one. ARWR, AEZS, uh, this one right here. Um, you want to see it break the high of the day here at 206, which is right over here and then see if it breaks up. If it breaks above that, see if it breaks and uh, rejects at the 232 area of the 200 simple moving average, or see if it breaks above it. Um, so AEZS, I put on the watch list. IOTS, this one right here, uh, you're gonna wanna see if it's gonna break the yearly high of 730. Um, if it does, obviously it could have some room to go. Let's see right here. Yeah, this is forming a nice kind of wedge. This could be a nice breakout on the weekly. Uh, so definitely keep an eye on this one. This is definitely a really good one to watch. Um, and eh, I would keep an eye on yeah, the 660, around 666 area as potential support if it fails, uh, but obviously uh, it's got to fall below the seven, 17 marker as well. So keep an eye on this one. Um, see what happens if it breaks out. IOTS, MHLD, uh, this one right here, you want to see it break 765, which is the high of today. If it can break uh, today's uh, high, uh, what is that, 765. Yeah, it's in its bull flagging right there. So I'm gonna edit that, put a red color here because it looks like a nice one. 765, this one could really run up there. Uh, might be a really nice breakout if that one breaks. Um, let me see which one I wanna replace that with. Um, give me one second, I wanna take a look at something here. FRTA. Uh, let me see. I might put MHLD. I have a specific uh, watch list of ones that I'm really looking at. The ones that I like the best for a potential breakout the next day. So I like this one right here. If this can break above that seven, what is that? 765 area. It's a nice bull flag. That could be a nice breakout. Um, that could really ride up. Uh, so I definitely like uh, MHLD. And I have an alert. If it uh, triggers at 763, you know, maybe it's on its way of breaking that 765 and heading on up. And obviously you want to be careful here at the bottom of this gap, 845, see if it goes up from there. But still be careful at the $8 marker and see what happens there as well. And XTD. This one right here might be a nice breakout, kind of like a nice wedge pattern forming here. You want to see it break out above 234. If it breaks out above there, that one could potentially run. Uh, so NXTD is one that I like. Um, that's another one that I want to take a look at. Let me see here, PSDV. This one I had on the watch list. Uh, 137, 130. hmm. Oh, okay, NXT was the next one. I'm trying to take ones off my watch list that I, I might not like as much. Let me just see, hey, A-R-C-O, because I think I like that. 
NXT uh, D1 980. Hmm. I'll have to take a look. There's so many. There's a few really nice looking ones that I like on here. That's why I'm just kind of taking a look. So the NXTD, you obviously want to see a breakout. That could be a nice breakout right above that 234 area. Um, so that's definitely one to watch. PSDV, another one, an inverse head and shoulders. So kind of left shoulder followed by a head followed by a right shoulder. You want to see if it's going to break out above that 140 area. Then be careful around the 170-ish area. Uh, for the 200 simple moving average. So that could be a decent breakout. So we'd want to see that one right around, put an alert here, right around 130. I'll put it at 139 or 38. So you want to basically see if it's going to go and break the high of day here. You'll see it actually did right here towards the... Uh, right at the aftermarket, and then it smacked back down. So take a look at that. If that goes and breaks tomorrow, that could be a nice uh, breakout. PSDV. Uh, EBR. This one right here. Want to see it break above. Basic, I'd like to see it break $7. Uh, kind of faded a little bit down the day at the end of the day here. Uh, it got up to six ninety one, but if this can break... Uh, seven dollars that could be a nice breakout um that's basically kind of like an inverse head and shoulders left shoulder head you know this could be a right shoulder this would be a nice breakout if it breaks above seven dollars uh so that's why i put an alert for 698 see if it heads up that way arco arco another one kind of an inverse head and shoulders left shoulder right or head left shoulder right shoulder see if it breaks 980 if it breaks 980, it could potentially run. Uh, oh, yeah, that's a definitely a nice inverse head and shoulders on the weekly, too. That could be a really nice breakout on Arco. So I actually want to keep Arco on my watch list. Uh, that's a really nice one. So see if that breaks above that 980. If it breaks above 980, again, left shoulder, right or head, right shoulder. If it breaks above that, you can see right here on the weekly... Same exact thing, left shoulder, head, right shoulder, followed by a break of that neckline. If it breaks that 980, that one could run really nice. Uh, so keep an eye on ARCO for tomorrow, especially if the market is bullish tomorrow. And uh, BLDP, that's another one. Um, it's full flagging. Uh, see if it breaks above that 356. If it breaks above that, that one could potentially run. Uh, so BLDP is a nice one to watch as well. So you have some really nice plays on here um, to look out for. So again, just make sure you really watch those alerts. Uh, put them on your watch list. Um, and kind of coincide them with mine and just uh, see which ones are going to pop. Many of these are popping. And, uh, you know, again, who knows if the market's going to be break all-time highs tomorrow, but it's getting very close. It might test them and fail, might test them and break above it, but uh, it looks like the market wants to head towards those areas, so uh, that's a very bullish sign. So um, that is the watch list for tomorrow. Again, if you haven't done it already, uh, just a few things here, make sure you head over to Facebook and um, <clears throat> like our fan page. We are the Bullish Bears uh, on Facebook. Uh, we have two things. We have a fan page and our group, our uh, our uh, fan page is the Bullish Bears fan page. Our group is called Stock Market Community. I, um, you know, so if you want to post and ask questions and stuff, post in Stock Market Community. But our fan page, make sure you come down and you like and follow our fan page so you stay notified because we do post uh, trade ideas, uh, pre-market movers, as, long, as well as Benzinga news over here every morning. Uh, so pay attention before eight, before nine o'clock in the morning every day. We post, um, again, the trade ideas, pre-market movers, and Benzinga news over here as well. Uh, and if you want to pick up uh, Benzinga or trade ideas, make sure you get it from us because we do have affiliate partnerships with them uh, where we get you 15% discount off of trade ideas and 25% discount off of Benzinga. These are two products that we highly recommend. They're great value. Uh, they're great companies to use. Obviously, you only get them once you can afford them. Uh, but as you continue to grow, uh, these are two really huge 
uh, tools to have in your arsenal. Uh, Trade Ideas is a live market scanner. So just because we post the pre-market watch list every day uh, doesn't mean that you don't need this tool at some point because it also has a live scanner attached to it. So what might be running in the pre-market might not be the same during live market hours. Um, and same thing with Benzinga. It's always up to date news. It's always like right on top of the latest news in the market. So once you can catch this news, sometimes catching this news, uh, you can catch it before it hits uh, trade ideas and people buy in on it and that way you can get better entries um, uh, trading, uh, depending, you know, once you get that news, it's nice to get it ahead of time before it hits the scanner. So that's why we highly recommend um, <coughs> getting trade ideas and Benzinga. They're awesome tools. So again, make sure that you uh, like and you uh, follow our fan page. A uh, couple other things too. If you haven't been over to our website yet, make sure you head over to bullishbears.com and subscribe by email to our daily watch list. Uh, that's where we send out email updates as well as our nightly uh, watch list that I'm making here. We send it by email as well as we send out trade ideas options uh, scans for the day as well with what, what options are uh, bullish and bearish on the day. So for you options fans, um, you know, we attach those watch lists by email. Uh, so we're providing you a lot of value um, with trade ideas every day. Again, it's still good to have um, it live, but if you can't afford it right now, take advantage of these watch lists that we're sending uh, every day uh, with trade ideas. And a couple other things, if you haven't joined our trade room yet, we have a great trade room over here. Uh, come and join us. Uh, right now we are a Skype trade room. We have over 500 uh, traders in there in that room. And uh, we're just rapidly growing every single day. Uh, if you have not... Um, looked at other scanners or I'm sorry other traders before our trade rooms before uh, you can't get it first of all getting in a trade room a good one for free is uh, very unlikely and second of all you know they're at least a minimum of a hundred dollars per month uh, elsewhere so for us to provide it for free to our community is a real big deal and we hope you take advantage of it uh, as well as the couple thousand dollars worth of trading courses that we have over here. Make sure you take advantage of those as well if you want extra training. Um, and so, you know, we pride all that, all that value to you guys, our trade room, our courses, uh, these tools that are a couple hundred dollars a month. We pride it, provide it all for free because uh, Tim, Dan, and I, we ideally have a vision of giving back. We want to be the largest trading community in the world, and we ideally would like to keep everything... Uh, uh, basically free of charge. We don't. We ideally don't want to charge membership fees down the road, but in order for us to do that, we are currently a donation-based or a contribution-based community. If you look right up here, basically means uh, for an us to for an order for us to grow and survive as a community, we need uh, the donations monthly of each community member. So there's no obligation to donate, but we make it affordable for everybody. So if you haven't clicked the link yet, make sure you click on contribute over here. And just to show you here, if you're on a budget, we have uh, monthly donation options for as low as ten dollars, twenty-five dollars a month. Obviously, we'd love if you give 50 or 100. We're definitely worth it with all that we give back to our community. But if you uh, really are on a budget, you know, I said we make it affordable, $10, $25 a month, so that everybody's able to contribute. So basically what we're looking for is all community members to ideally give a little bit uh, so that ideally down the road, we don't have to charge membership. So if the more people that do not donate to us, uh, the more donations that we do receive will be less likely uh, to charge membership fees down the road. Uh, we can't obviously promise that, but uh, we're trying this model out. Ideally, we want it to succeed this way so we can continuously keep giving back uh, to our community members. So if you'd like to donate, we'd greatly appreciate it. The monthly options are right here, and uh, we have single-time donations right over here. And pretty much last but not least, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification bell over here uh, that pops up when you do click subscribe. As you can see, our uh, YouTube channel is growing like crazy. We're growing, I think last check now, by over 1,500 people a month right now. Uh, so we're absolutely exploding. We have uh, tons of great content on our playlist. You can see all of our videos here. We give lots of content away for free. Again, we're all about giving back. Uh, in order for us to keep this mission going to really helping you out as a community, we just need everybody to follow us, like our videos, comment on them, share them, and again, uh, donate 
uh, to our community as well to help it keep growing. So uh, hopefully this video helped you. Hopefully our content is helping you. And we will see you in our community. Happy trading tomorrow. Enjoy.